Twice as nice for Alabama on day number one of this early signing period of the 2023 class as James Smith and Quay Russo both committing and now signing on this first day. Top two players in the state of Alabama, one and two respectively. James Smith, the number one defensive lineman in the country. Quay Russo, the number one linebacker in the country, both out of Carver High School in Montgomery, Alabama. Had a feeling this was going to be a package deal, as that is the case today. Alabama securing uh, both of these two talented five stars. Your first thoughts as uh, some breaking news for Alabama and, and some big news as they land both Smith and Russo. Well, my first thought is, uh, wow, they uh, they are sticking together because you, you always hear about these package deals and it hardly ever works out that way. I would say nine out of ten times it, it never really works when, when players say that they're going to be a package deal. But they were, they were true to their word from start to finish. I mean, they said that they were going to play together they took every visit together, minus James Smith taking an unofficial to Auburn this past weekend, uh, while Quay didn't. But they did take the same official visits together. They went, you know, every single game day experience the last two years, they went together. Um, you know, any camps or anything, they went together. They were always going to go to school together. That was always their plan, and now they're going to do so, and they're both enrolling in January. So they're going to be uh, in Tuscaloosa here pretty soon uh, getting ready for uh, you know for their freshman season. So big win on the recruiting trail for Alabama. I think you know there's a lot of people who were involved, you know, Nick Saban, you know, Pete Golding, Freddie Roach, Charles Kelly. Well, Charles Kelly played a very instrumental part uh, in their recruitment. You know, I think that you know he was the lead recruiter you know, from the get go, had built a built a really good relationship with James Smith. I don't think people really, you know, realize how good of a relationship Charles Kelly had with James Smith. Uh, probably the best relationship he had with any coach uh, throughout the entire process. You know, and Quay Rousseau, uh, you know, being recruited as a linebacker um, by Pete Golding, uh, you know, can play inside, can play outside. You know, I've talked a lot to, uh, to Coleman Hutzler, the outside linebackers coach. So I think, Still kind of unknown exactly which position he's going to end up playing. I think he's, you know, he just loves being a linebacker. He loves getting after the football, um, loves to rush off the edge. So I think that he, they're going to see, you know, try to move him around a little bit. But James Smith, you know, this is a big dude as far as just being an athletic defense alignment, six foot three, close to 300 pounds. Uh, but he can get into the backfield. You know, when you look at him, you, you know, you kind of think, you know, even though Quinn and Williams wasn't, you know, this size coming out of high school, Quinton was probably about 265, 270 coming out of high school. But this is a similar type player to Quinton Williams. A, a, you know, it's a guy who can play you know, on the inside, can play on the outside, can just be a disruptive force um, in the middle of your defensive front. Now, I think that he's going to have a chance to really make a lot of big time plays uh, from his position. He's not a space eater. He's not just somebody that's going to go in there, free up some space for the linebackers to go down and chase the ball. He wants to make plays and he's got that athletic ability to do that. He's got that great skill to do that. Um, this was a big win. You know, we've, we've talked about all these linebackers that Alabama has been able to sign, um, you know, these last couple of years, you know, they've signed some great players and signed some great players in this class, but to be able to go and get, you know, an elite five-star defensive lineman of James Smith's caliber. Big recruiting win there for Alabama. Uh, they've got a great defensive line class, and he certainly adds to it. And, and the fact that he's going to be enrolling early, uh, you know, we might see him on the field uh, pretty early in Tuscaloosa. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, two guys that you really could see play right away here, 10 stars in one video for us. Like you, like you mentioned, so many different efforts here, so many different coaches visiting these guys uh, in on this recruiting effort. What were the the things that attracted these two together to Alabama? And, you know, what were the final few factors that ultimately led them to making this package decision? Well, I think just the development overall, um, you know, the standard in Tuscaloosa, they've got that Alabama type mentality already. Uh, you know, they just want to play football. They want to go to work. And, you know, that's what, Ale you know, something that I was told a few weeks ago about these two is, you know, they, they just – aren't really impressed when they go and see, you know, all these, you know, gimmicks at all these other schools that they try to, you know, show off whenever they go on official visits, you know, Alabama's not going to have, you know, the Lamborghinis, you know, parked on the field to take pictures with, uh, you know, during official visits. You know, they're basically just, you know, 
here's all of our championship trophies. Here's all of our rings. Here's all the guys that have been drafted during the Nick Saban era. Um, you can be next. And, you know, if you're going to come here, you know, we're not going to promise you anything, but we're going to promise you that we're going to basically put you through hell and uh, make you a, a better football player and a better person. I think that's what really spoke uh, to both of these kids. I think that's what they want. You know, they want structure. They want discipline. And, you know, that's, you know, what Alabama is kind of all about. And I, I think the connection with Nick Saban, um, you know, they, they are huge fans of Coach Saban. Um, and, you know, you know, most of these kids are, but I think that, you know, those, those two guys, you know, constantly calling him the goat and wanting to be around him, wanting to be coached by him. Uh, you know, those were some factors in his decision. They like some other schools. They like Auburn a lot, but I think with the coaching change at Auburn, you know, that really affected, uh, you know, the Tigers and their pursuit because they didn't know, they didn't know Hugh Freeze. Maybe if they hired, you know, Auburn would have hired somebody that had been recruiting them, you know, Potentially, uh, you know, would have helped Auburn's case a little bit more. But I think with uh, with Hugh Freeze, you know, not really having any connection to these two guys, uh, I think that played a major factor there. You know, they like Georgia a lot. They like Florida a lot. But in the end, they decided they wanted to stay home, play in the state of Alabama, and now they're going to the University of Alabama. They are as they choose the Crimson Tide here. No bells and whistles, no Porsches necessary, uh, just a trophy case. And you know, maybe if they want to check out Nick Saban's Mercedes as, uh, as he pulls away from it there. But two massive gets for Alabama in this package deal. A couple of five stars, top two players in the state of Alabama as well. For the latest on this, guys, and all things going on in the world of Alabama recruiting, you're going to want to check us out at BamaInsider.com. And do not forget, subscribe, subscribe to this channel. And please hit the like button for us. Help our video grow. You're going to want to get in the comments on this one. I know they will be blowing up here as Quay Rousseau, James Smith, now both making the announcement. They will be signing with the Alabama Crimson Tide. For Andrew Bowen, my name is Trey Yanity. Two five stars have signed their letter of intent with Alabama.